I updated my smooth slide preset pick for Adobe Premiere Pro 2023. Enjoy. <laughs> As you just saw from the teaser, I updated my Adobe Premiere Pro Smooth Slide Preset Pack. This preset pack includes 142 slide transitions, and this includes the text transitions. If you know how to import and use a preset pack, feel free to go ahead and do that right now and just leave the video. All I ask from you is just if you could be so kind to leave a like on the video because this preset pack is free and it required a lot of work. If you do not know how preset packs work, I will do a quick walkthrough of how you can use these transitions to get the maximal out of your preset pack. Navigate to the link in the description. You should arrive at a Google Drive with a preset file called Julius Sorensen Smooth Slide Transitions version 2, 2023. Click on the file. Right click, click download. You should see the download power up in the bottom. Once it is done downloading, navigating to your Premiere. Go to your effects panel, click presets, right click, import presets. Navigate to where you downloaded the file to and just double click it. The presets should now appear under your presets. It's Julius Sorensen Smooth Slides version 2, 2023. And as you can see, the effects are divided into subfolders. Those being offset slides without stretch, Offset slides with stretch, text slides without stretch, text slides with stretch, transform slides no stretch, these are utilizing shutter angle instead of directional blur, and transform slides with stretch, these are also utilizing shutter angle. And there's, then there is a folder called extra add-ons. Inside the no stretch folders there are 8 slides, and inside the stretch folders there are 4 slides in each. The text slides have 15 versions each, and there is a total of 8 add-ons, but let me teach you how to use them. I prepared a sequence here with two clips, and all of these transitions or presets, they work on adjustment layers. So go over to project, click on this little thing here, sorry this one, new item, then click on adjustment layer, already have one. So I'm just going to apply that on top of my clips where I want the transition to be. Let's take an offset slide no stretch and you can see here what it is followed by the frames before and after the cut so let's try this one slide down 714 that means seven frames before the cut with the adjustment layer so i'm gonna go five to the left and then six seven then we're gonna go 14 to the right so that's five ten fifteen and then 14 one back and i'm just gonna apply that let's do slide down and there it is, this is that. The diagonal ones, they require 17 frames to the right because I found that that is more smooth. So let's try top left, bottom right. All right, that works fine as well. Super easy to do. If you open this one called extra add-ons, you will see something called aberration blue, aberration green, aberration red, color and bus. And you will see which type of transitions they apply to. So aberration blue diagonal, that applies to this one we're using right now because it is 717 and it's a diagonal slide and it will give you a transition this type of look similarly if you choose the green diagonal it will give this type of look and red diagonal this type of look we decide to go with a try a shutter angle no stretch we do a bottom left oh sorry let's do a slide up so it slides like this then we can also use the color imports vertical because it's a vertical transition and you get this type of look on your transition. Something you can play around with, there is a lot of mix and matching here. Let me tell you a little bit more about the preset pack and what the difference is between some of these. So if we take an offset slide, no stretch, and let's go slide right. Then it looks like this and it basically has to do with how the blur is being done. So this one, it uses directional blur here to give it the blur during the transition. But if you, for example, take one of these transform slides, slide it right, 
It uses the transform instead of the offset for the transition, but it uses the natural blur which comes from the transformation. That is pretty cool. All right, so I've just prepared another scenario of how these lines can be used. So imagine we have a clip with some text and we want to text the transition into this text with a slight transition. Maybe we would just put on this one, slide right. That will move the entire picture, right? What if we just wanted to move the text? Then we got to use this one, it's called text slides. There's also a stretch and no stretch. Let's try one of these stretch ones. So there is three types for each for a slide down slide up slide left and right there is an in out and over the over is basically here so we put this one on top and it's basically going to do the same thing right but we basically fix this by selecting these three and then nesting it and then we have the text slide easy as that what does slide in mean it's just like basically a text transition done better because i think uh, the way it is built should be a different amount of frames so again we're gonna have the same issue here when sliding in but just of course just select it and nest that the texture slide in perfectly as you can see and it's the same thing when uh, when sliding out notice that the slide out is 15. so let's say we wanted this slide in a slide over and a slide out we want to keep it clean on workflow. Just select all of them in one and nest it. And it should work like a charm. That's the slide in before there. That's the slide over. And then here comes the slide out. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this preset pack useful. I spent a lot of time and I decided to release it for free because why not? So I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing and dropping a like. It really means a lot to me. But anyways, take care guys.